Well morning guys, it's Richard here. Welcome back to the channel and today I thought I'd take you along for a very special day uh, with my little friend Passio here. Here he is in the background because he's going for his MOT today and um, yeah, not that I'm going to film the actual MOT but I thought I'd take you along to see whether there's content worth posting up on the channel uh, and uh, but yeah so he's been serviced by Craig my mechanic who does some amazing job on all the fleet and uh, James's car as well or James's car the VW the the also the um, Sunshine who's actually in sunshine today look there he is sunshine we've had so much rain the last few days got some work to do on the front end of sunshine as you know but Passio today is going for his MOT so hopefully everything is all right I've checked everything always best to do MOT pre MOT checks so I've checked the tire pressures I've checked the tires I've checked the engine make sure they're simple things like making sure that the um, the washer fl fluid for the uh, wipers, the windscreen wipers, is actually um, filled up. All things like that. Really simple things that you can do uh, if you're not a mechanic, but I, I obviously know about these cars a bit anyway. I've checked under the bonnet, everything's nice and clean. So yeah, so let's get in the car and uh, see what we've got now. There we go. There we go. Just let me just climb in here. It's going to be fun. So I'm going to do it this way. Always best to sit on the seat and then swing your legs around because there we go. The other thing to do is always make sure that you have a good. Where's the keys gone? Oh, here we go. <laughs> always make sure you have a good steering lock. Let's shut the door. Hopefully, the. Yes. Good steering lock. Well, you can, the noise you can hear is the dash cam. That is also the. That's we are good. So take that off. Worth investing. Also, um, I've got a tracker on this car. So there we go. Right. So we're going to start. Oh, let me just take you off there. And, uh, right. So we're going to start off here. Uh, push the button. Hey. All the lights hopefully will go out. Yeah, the handbrake and the um, seatbelt light are still on because I haven't actually put my seatbelt on yet, so I will do that. Turn the times radio off a bit. There we go. Hear that babble of that lovely engine starting up. 15 C 1500 engine. some for, for sunshine as well because his was showing a little bit degrading on the driver's side so I bought some from Just Campers I think that the cost of them is so it's about the same as any other car about 13 quid with postage which for two wipers you know is quite good really so yeah so anyway I will see you a bit later on here we go guys let's see whether we go waiting at the traffic lights here. Uh, for those people who don't know, um, the MOT, the Ministry of Transport Test, or it's now called an inspection, has to be done on all cars over three years old in the United Kingdom. Um, and if your car is over 40 years old, that means pass, uh, sunshine qualifies for that, you're exempt. But you have to fill in a form to say that, and that means that you get uh, you don't have to pay road fund license, that's the tax we will pay for the upkeep of our roads. Um, and uh, also your MOT exempt, which means that the, the test I'm taking Passio today for, uh, is uh, you're also exempt from that. But of course you could still have an MOT. And, uh, um, and the other thing is the car must be kept in good working order. So if you get stopped by the um, police any time and they find that you're not roadworthy you will get possibly get a magistrate's uh, summons and uh, end up with a fine um, which is not to be sniffed at these days I have to say so 
we go. So we're off down into a place called Aylesford uh, in Kent, where I'm here to um, Aylesford Tyres. Sounds funny, doesn't it? Doing an MOT, but Aylesford Tyres uh, is something I've somebody I've used for quite a few years for my tyres. And uh, I said to them, "Would you do you do MOTs?" They said, "Yes, they would." Can I wait? They said, "Yes, you can." So that's where I'm off. So we're just at the at the crossroads here so yeah so it's good so I'm uh, off to do that now hopefully everything will be all right Craig's assured me that there's nothing to worry about but you never know and if there was I'd just ask him to come back and fix it um, as you know from my channel I keep my cars in fleet in tip-top condition uh, so I don't want to attempt anything but I do and, uh, yeah temperature today is uh, a cool 11 degrees and we've had a lot of rain and lots of storms as well. A lot of areas have been covered, and, uh, and damage has been done. And the railways have been affected, um, flooding on the line, and uh, so forth. Um, James and Penny are away in Edinburgh at the moment, having a really, really nice break from the photographs they put on Instagram. Really looking good. If you want to follow them on Instagram, you can do that by just typing in. I think it's James or Penny one, yeah, so, uh, and have a look there. So that the young people are having a good time away, and uh, considering James had COVID, uh, which he's now recovered from, thank goodness. Um, so he was kept away from mum and dad here. Um, so, yeah, so, but it was a lovely Christmas. I hope everyone's had a really good Christmas as well. I certainly have. Thank you very much for everyone's comments on the uh, on the last on uh, the upload of the um, Philips 308, which I'm progressing. Um, and uh, it's <laughs> four years since I've done anything with that little machine and got round to it. Um, in between everything else, this year particularly is going to be quite busy. I've got lots of things on um, more so than the last time. So yes, um, back to working for the hospice tomorrow.
good news we have a pass the uh, vehicle stand vi drive and vehicle standards agency has given Passio a pass which is good the only thing the gentleman had to do was adjust the lighting uh, which he did there on the spot which he's made a note of which was very good of him I didn't realize that was out um, clearly that's something that can only be done by the, te the testing station so I'm really pleased so Passio has a clean bill of health for another 12 months as long as I keep everything up to date which I will do of course yeah hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you all very soon take care Thank <laughs> you.